One of the best ways to earn an income from your creative ideas is through the creating and selling of digital products. And there's one niche that I've recently started creating products in, um, and it's really fun and really creative. And it also has a, a very large audience, uh, mainly of crafters that are eager to buy more and more of your designs. And that is junk journals. So in today's video, I am going to show you how to create your very own junk journal page from scratch and we'll be using simple free tools. If you stick around as well, I will also include a free template so you can get started on making your own straight away. Hello and welcome back. As some of you might have noticed, I have recently renamed my channel since you last saw me. Um, I just want to be more in keeping with what I want to help you guys with. And if you enjoy the content, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon so you don't miss any of my videos. So junk journals are really popular at the minute, um, but a great thing that I've also found is that you can blend these digital products seamlessly into any online shop or Etsy store um, that also sells products like digital papers or clip art without destroying your brand cohesion. Um, and as you can see, if we take a look on Etsy, there are loads of popular and best-selling products within the junk journal niche. Um, this is a good thing, by the way. Also, just a tip, when researching on Etsy, I tend to filter my searches by top reviews at the top here, and then you can just see under the listing image, the reviews in the bottom right side. A high number of reviews would indicate a shop that sells a large volume. So you can then narrow down your searches from this starting point. Uh, just to point out, I would never condone copying somebody else's best-selling listing, but you can take inspiration from their idea um, or you can use this way of researching to find out if products similar to your ideas are selling well. Uh, so to create our junk journal today or, or digital paper, you'll need a free Canva account. Um, I'll also be using the free online app Photopia, I think that's pronounced. I will link both of those below in the description box. Um, Photopia is a free piece of software for those of you who don't have Photoshop. If you do have Photoshop, then obviously that's the best choice and you can use that and follow along with the tutorial. So let me jump to my screen and we'll get on with it. <laughs> right, so to start this tutorial, you'll need to head on over to Canva. Um, and once you're on your homepage of Canva, if you look on the left hand sidebar, you can see the bottom little icon, it says Dream Lab. So we're gonna be using Dream Lab to start this tutorial. So I'm gonna click on there so Dream Lab is Canva's latest AI text to image generator and it's powered by Leonardo AI. It's a really good tool for those of you who are new to AI. Um, if you have a preferred AI tool, um, image generator, something like Midjourney, then obviously you can use that and follow along with this tutorial um, just the same. So just to make you aware, you, do, you don't need a paid version of Canva to use this. Um, so with a free version of Canva, you get 20 lifetime credits. With a pro account, with a Canva paid account, that you do get 500 credits and it renews each month. So just keep that in mind. First of all, what we're going to do is we're gonna create a base um, digital paper to place our images onto for our junk journal page. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to type in uh, a prompt. So I'm actually gonna paste in the prompt just to save time. So I've got old looking paper, old paper looking background, no images, because I don't want an image of a piece of paper, which is done before, uh, just plain, looks kind of watercolor. So just to make sure your ratio uh, is set, I've put it at four, four by three, um, obviously, because it's going to be a, a double page spread, um, kind of a document size, double page spread for someone to put in a journal planner or scrapbook. So that would work best at that ratio. I'm going to leave it on smart, but there are different models you can use to get different effects. If you want to play about with it, then brilliant, go ahead. So I'm just going to create this and see what comes up. So we have some really good images. I'm going to use, I'm going to use this one um, actually 
here's some I did earlier, <laughs> but I'm going to use this one, I think for the tutorial. So I'm going to click on there. I'm literally just going to rename it so I can find the document, aged paper. Ooh. I'm on a different PC today. It's actually my children's computer because I've had issues with my laptop. So do excuse the tapping on the keyboard. Um, so I'm literally just going to download this document here, this um, file. So just be aware when you are downloading from Canva, if you, I would normally download something like this as either a PNG or a JPEG file. But with Canva, um, if you do that, it will download as a really low resolution file and it could end up being pixelated and not look very good. I'm actually going to download it as a PDF print because it will download at 300 DPI, which is high resolution. Um, if you don't have Canva Pro, you can do just download it as an RGB, it will convert it. Or if you do have Canva Pro, you can convert it to CMYK, which is just the colors, um, how it uses the colors and mixes the colors for print or screen. So that's the best one because somebody will be printing off this um, page. So I'm just going to save it on my desktop. And then I'm going to come over to photo, photo P, photo P. I'm not quite sure how you pronounce it, but I'm going to come over to here. Now, if you have Photoshop, um, Adobe Photoshop, then that's obviously use that and follow the tutorial because it is a better program. But if you don't have it, that's why I'm using this. So you can see that you don't need to be limited by the technology that you have. So I'm going to open a new project. So I'm going to go to pixels and I'm actually going to set the pixels at 2550. No, I'm not. That's the height. <laughs> so I'm going to set the pixels at 3300 oh, by 2550, oh, 300 DPI. PPI. Um, now with Photo P, this program you only it only offers RGB profiles. So just make you just to make you aware, you cannot export it as CMYK. You can in Photoshop, um, but it will give you a preview of what it will look like converted with the colors converted into CMYK. So obviously just to make you aware, if you do have Photoshop, I do recommend that you use that instead. So I'm going to open and place and I'm going to go to the desktop and I'm going to find that aged paper and I'm hopefully it's about the right size. I'm just going to make this bigger. I'm also going to pull it a little bit further than the page just so that it kind of looks balanced with the edges. It doesn't have like a really sharp edge along one side. Um, now to obviously to make this bigger and smaller you can just you just adjust it like that so and as you can see on your layers panel this aged paper sits above the background layer so the next um thing we're going to do is we're going to find some images so what i would recommend is choose some um like like a collection of um, images in a certain niche and create a series of junk journal pages around that collection. So for example, you could have um, like a Victorian Christmas papers or something like um, botanicals, uh, florals, roses. You could have all sorts of things, old images of, you know, work really well. Um, now, one of the best places to go for um, elements to place onto your junk journal page is Creative Fabrica. It's my one of my favorite places to come and get elements. You can also use AI to create your elements or you can create them yourself if you're quite artistic. Um, but I find Creative Fabrica to be the best place because it offers the best licensing. Um, obviously check the licensing, but it, it's really flexible with the licensing. So you can use it for a lot more things than some of the other platforms and it's really cheap. It's like 47 pounds per year, I think it is. I'm not sure what that is in dollars. Um, I will leave a link below uh, just to be aware that it, it is an affiliate link. So you can literally search, say I've searched for botanicals, um, oh, or animals is a really good one as well. Actually, I just saw that. So you can, with a membership, you can you can use any of their product, any of their um, elements and uh, 
fonts and everything on here so there is also if you're not quite ready to sign up there is also freebies so if you click on free graphics it will bring up um, literally hundreds of freebies that you can use and these are all really good ones to, I mean this is a really nice one um, I actually downloaded this one earlier just to show you um, and you can literally just go in you need a free account to do it you just sign up download it and it's free so I'm going to come back to the our uh, old paper and we're going to come up to file and open and place if I can find where I've hidden it and I've got these ones that I downloaded earlier so I'm going to click on this one and it will place it on our document now the reason you can't see it is in the layers panel it's placed it behind our other layers so I'm just going to grab it drag it up to the top and it will place it to the top so to make this bigger smaller and move it around a bit you can come to edit make sure you clicked on the layer that you want to edit free transform I think on if you're using Photoshop you can just click on Control or command and T and it will it will select it for you and then you just you can just make it bigger oh, I'm gonna do that if you come to the corner you can actually uh, angle it slightly I'm gonna leave it like that not mess with it too much because I don't want to make this a really long tutorial and then we're gonna come and place another one I'm gonna grab this one and again it's pasted it at the bottom so just drag it to the top and edit free transform I'm just gonna make it smaller because it looks absolutely enormous compared to the other side um, so this is a double page um, so obviously the middle lines about here so this would be for somebody to uh, use this obviously in, in scrapbooking or in creating junk journals and they would stick all the little bits on top of here so the next stage what we need to do is to blend this into the background because at the moment these flowers um, they don't look like they fit on that old paper they look like they've just been placed on top um, they look too sharp um, so what we're going to do is we're going to make it blend into the background um, you can rename these uh, elements in the in the uh, layers panel as well so flowers one just so I know which one's which flowers two right um, so I'm going to click on the first one flowers one and I'm going to come over to where it says normal and I'm going to change it to multiply that blends it right into the background and then the opacity I'm gonna play with this a little bit if you want to I'm gonna take it down to 85% so it really kind of blends in to that old paper kind of look um, and I'm gonna do the same for the other for the other one flowers two. take that down to 85% and then that basically is your uh, junk journal page and it's there so to export this I'm going to come to file um, export as and then JPEG again it will expose export it so see it's changed it to inches so it's 11 by and a half inches um, and you can see this is showing you a, a close-up of how it will look at that size and, and then you just save that and then I'm going to come over what I do have for those of you maybe who don't have um, access to Canva or don't want to have Canva I have created some old papers that you can use and um, there's a set of six and you can grab them for free on my Gumroad account I will put a link below um, completely free and you can use these in either Photoshop or Photopea or any other you know software package that you might have what you can do um, if you are selling these on somewhere like Etsy you can offer other um, little bits and bobs as well like um, for example I've created these little um, frames that you can you can create and there's things like tags and um, little cards I think this one has 
um, like train tickets, old tickets, um, little banners, um, little pins that you can place, images inside. Um, these are envelopes. Um, the cards would go in the envelopes and uh, folios with little sections where you can fold them up and place little bits inside there. Um, these are really popular. Um, I created these um, myself and if you look back on my videos I have a video on how to create Canva frames so uh, I'll link that in the description as well so if you want to create these frames um, you can do. Um, I also have this on my shop on my Gumroad shop for a couple of dollars as well so if you don't want to create them from scratch you can grab them but I'm just going to show you um, let me just grab that I'm just going to grab that what I just what that yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to grab the file that we just did so here we go and I'll just show you how you can create these obviously what you would need to do is measure the size that you would need um, and oh, so that's the backing paper that we've just done and with these you can just drag them in um, and again you can just drag all of these in and you can sell these uh, as extras like junk journal extras on Etsy and you can do packs of these so if you have your pages you can create packs with all of the different like envelopes and cards and ephemera um, and different products that go along with it folios etc so I just thought I would show you that again if you want to know how to do these frames yourself from scratch Go and have a look at that video that I've done. I will pop it in the description. Or um, you can, let me just get rid of these. Or you can grab this set that I've done here uh, from my Gumroad shop. And I hope you have enjoyed this video. I hope it has helped you um, learn something new and inspired you to get out there creating your own products and digital products to sell. Um, if you have liked the video, please drop a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.